Welcome to the session number four of the TIA portal. In today's session, we will learn how we can make a program to open and close the shutter door using the set and reset instructions in the TIA portal. Before starting, as always, I would like you guys to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. Let's see the setup for the today's tutorial. First of all, we have a motor which moves in the forward direction to open the shutter door with the PLC output Q0.0. This same motor runs in the reverse direction to close the shutter door with the PLC output Q0.1. Next we have a panel of three buttons. We have a button to open the shutter door which is connected to the PLC input I0.0. We have a red stop push button to stop the shutter movement at any place. This red stop push button is connected to the PLC input I0.1. Next we have a button to close the shutter door. This button is connected at I0.2 input of the PLC. Next we have installed two sensors to detect the fully open and fully closed position of the shutter door. When the shutter door reaches the down limit sensor, the down limit sensor I0.4 turns on. And when the shutter is fully open, the up limit sensor I0.3 turns on. Next, we will open the TIA portal software and see how we can make a program for this shutter door using set and reset commands. First of all, in the network number one, we have the logic to set on the shutter open command. So to open the shutter, we have to first insert a normal open contact of the push button I0.0, .0, which is our open button. So whenever we press the open button, it should set on our output Q0.0. .0. To set on our output, we will use this command set output. So we will drag and drop this command onto the ladder logic. And here we will mention Q0.0. .0. So the logic is simple. Whenever we press the open button I0.0, .0, it will set on our output Q0.0 .0, and the shutter will start to open. In the network number two, we will write the logic to reset this command. So we need to reset this output Q0.0 .0 .0 once the shutter is fully open. As we have discussed earlier, when the shutter is fully open, the sensor I0.3 is on. So we will insert here I0.3 sensor, which is up limit sensor, and we will reset the output Q0.0 .0 using this sensor. So we will insert a reset command here, and we will insert Q0.0. .0. So whenever we press the open button, which is I0.0, .0, it will set on our open shutter command, which is Q0.0, .0, and shutter will start to open. And once it is fully open, we can detect it by I0.3. This sensor will be turned on, and this contact will be closed, and it will reset Q0.0 .0 output, and the shutter motor will stop at the fully open position and next thing we want to do here is that we want to stop this shutter at any position it can be fully open close or or it can be a partially open so to do this we will insert a contact in the parallel which is i0.1 which is our stop push button so whenever we press the stop push button it will also reset our output q0.0 .0 and shutter will be stopped there in the network number three we want to make a logic to close the shutter so first of all we will insert our shutter close command here which is i0.2 which is our push button so it is a close push button whenever we press this close push button we have to set on the close command so our close command is q0.1 now whenever we press this button it will set on this close gate command Q0.1 and our shutter will start to close. We will better rename this take as shutter. So everything will be similar. And in the network number four, we will reset our output Q0.1. So we want to reset this output Q0.1 once the shutter is fully closed and we can get a signal when the shutter is fully closed from the sensor i0.4 
so it is also down limit sensor so when the shutter is fully closed this down sensor i 0.4 is on and it we can use this sensor to reset our output q 0.1 so we will mention here q 0.1 and next thing i want to do here is that i want to stop this shutter at any moment while closing as well so we will insert a branch here we will insert a stop push button which is i 0.1 and we will link it here as you can see that when we press the button i 0.2 it should set on our q 0.1 output and the shutter should start closing once the shutter is fully closed i 0.4 sensor will be turned on and it will reset our output q 0.1 and it will stop the shutter motor there and while closing we can stop the shutter at any position by pressing stop push button so this is the logic for the today's tutorial and we will upload this logic into the plc and let's see how does it works as you can see that right now the shutter is fully closed and we want to open this shutter so we will press the open button which is i 0.0, .0 and as you can see that now the shutter command is set on and it should stay on even if i release this push button i 0.0, .0 and the shutter will start to open and once the shutter is fully open this up limit sensor i 0.3 will be turned on and reset our output q 0.0, .0. and as you can see that now the output q 0.0, .0 is turned off and the shutter motor stops at the fully open position one thing i want to mention here is that the reset command has a priority over the set command this means that if this reset command is on now even if i press this open push button i 0.0, .0 it will not turn on our q 0.0, .0 output if you can see here on the simulator as well even if i press the i 0.0, .0 push button it will not turn on our output q 0.0, .0. now the shutter is fully open we will now try to close this shutter for the closing we have the network number three and four as you can see that when i press the i 0.2 push button it has set on our output q 0.1 and the shutter starts to close slowly and as soon as this shutter reaches the down limit sensor i 0.4 it has reset our output q 0.1 and the shutter motor stops at the fully closed position and next thing i want to test here is that let's imagine a condition that we want to stop the motor shutter motor at the mid position so to do this we will go to the network number one and two and here we will press our open push button and it will set on our output q 0.0, .0 and the shutter has started opening and at any position if i press the stop push button i 0.1 it has reset our output q 0.0, .0 and the shutter motor stops at that position so this is how we can make a logic to open and close the shutter i hope you like today's session do share like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials till next time take care and goodbye